Bueno, habrá caimanes, pero hay que correr más. Bueno, nadar más rápido. Menos mal que no ha venido yo. know you mr well, i believe we've met we have at that ghastly party oh evelyn miller unfortunately so mr uh, arthur morgan at least sometimes uh, can i say something rude sure the mayor thinks you robbed him well, uh, to be clear he, he wasn't very upset about it he rather liked you okay do you uh I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. We have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. 
We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. What you waiting for? Why do I waste my time? Why? <sighs> you okay, bud? <sighs> Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. Well. You are the great genius, so we should have hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of uh, European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. <laughs> Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No respondas. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed. And not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies. Ah, vaya, Frig. Totalmente, la verdad. Ladies, ladies. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> Buenas, <laughs> Claudio. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> uh, hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Eso te voy a decir yo, en poco te vas a despedir. I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watched them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and uh, don't touch that. Total, eh? Use these ones to steer, and uh, this bueno, one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Uh, yes, now, now blow up the little battleships, and, and the the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make me the explosion if they touch the bottom. Lul. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on both to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands Para mí todos los días son lunes, menos los viernes. Por lo cual... It's doing what I'm telling you. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Eh... You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. Una well, secundaria, en verdad, esta. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight perished to a mere five on the Lucifer. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death, the transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. Hey, I'm gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see. 
what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, the, the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explore the sitting dock. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a demonstration of my prowess, sir. The real miracle. Cuando roleaba hicieron barcos de ahí hicieron hicieron carreras con estos barcos. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of port, still avoiding magnetic mines. No, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wine or coal or gasoline. No, just rings in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what a thing to fund! What an opportunity! No one is stupid. Look who rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. You avoid the mines, yes? Le That's mi idea era tumbar eso. Porque se puede. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. Pero no me salió. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <coughs> I hope you will forgive my <laughs> European court. But. Que por cierto, Claudio, a que no sabes qué pack de mods ha sido actualizado a una nueva versión. Para... De, hablando de Minecraft. All the mods 10 ya es real. Así que muy posiblemente sea lo siguiente que juguemos. Porque ya lo han actualizado con algunos mods y tal que me interesan. Más o menos va a tener lo mismo que el 9. Solo que en la siguiente versión de Minecraft. El problema realmente no es la optimización del, del pack de mods. Es problema de que no está optimizado el juego en general. <risa> Hasta a mí, que tengo un buen ordenador, eh, el 9 de vez en cuando me petaba. 
Ya que empezó la ropa, John. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> If he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come Robin with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. <laughs> a few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, to the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. Let's see. I say Lenny, not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make him change. Very funny. What is that? Get him. Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or Driscoll boys are coming! Windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! Is everyone accounted for? Hey! hey. I said, is everyone accounted for? I don't know! I think! Miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. 